Yo, what's going on, guys? My name's Cast. Welcome back to another episode reaction of Haikyuu. Today, I'm on Season 4, Episode 21. So in the last episode, we met Kita, who is not only the captain in charge of keeping his entire team together, he is also an expert and a professional at keeping his own life together. He knows exactly what he's doing, he has all the right mindsets, all the right habits, and I was really impressed with him. He's a pretty cool dude, and it doesn't surprise me at all to see that he acts as a bit of a role model for a lot of his teammates, which is almost kind of a new dynamic. We don't normally see that because at the end of the day, they are all high schoolers, but I think Kita exists in a realm a little bit above that, at least mentally. So he's definitely really interesting. I was really impressed with him. The score is tied at one to one. We are in the third set of the game against Narazaki. And the last episode ended with possible hinting and foreshadowing at something Suki's gonna do. They said Suki is kind of being left behind behind Kageyama. I don't know if Suki's gonna take that. So we're just gonna have to see. Now, full disclaimer, I have been sick for about a week and a half now. I'm obviously a lot better now, but I haven't recorded anything for like two and a half weeks or so. And it's been even longer for Haikyuu, so it might take me a second or two to sort of get back in the rhythm of Haikyuu, remember exactly what's happening, exactly what's going on. It was really unfortunate, and this is the first thing I have recorded since going back, so so bear with me. It really sucks that this happened when I'm so close to finishing Haikyuu as well. It sort of throws off the momentum of everything for me, but I'm going to try and get back into it as quickly as possible because I want to enjoy this match to the fullest. I think Karasuno is going to take it home, I think we're going to win, but there's only one way to find out, so let's get into it. But of course, if you want to watch my reactions to the next episodes right now, you can do so over on my Patreon. The Soul Tier is always one episode ahead, the Ascended Tier is multiple episodes early, almost definitely to the end of the series by now. Those reactions are also extended length, meaning that you get more reaction and more discussion to go along with each and every video. And with that, let's jump straight back into it. Right, so we ended off with this insane Kagama block. Suki is shown there, slightly frustrated that it wasn't him. Right, exactly. This is where we ended it off. And it, with the shot on Suki, the zoom in, makes me think that Suki's plotting something. Suki's gonna pull off something, it'll really take him back into it, and they'll earn their respect. Episode 21, Hero. Oh, that's an exciting title. Come on, Suki! I feel like it's not set up for him to block this yet. We're gonna get a failure and build up the suspense a little bit. Right. You've always got the people behind them too. Right, 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 right. But there are options more than just stopping it. Okay, I take it back. This is set up for him to get it. Or contribute to it. He's going around him, but that was on purpose. Daichi's there and Suki knows it. Hell yeah, Suki. Hell yeah! Very nice! Good start to the set. Suki's still in it. He's not daunted by it at all. It takes so much trust, too, from Suki. Alright, it gets them into expecting it as well. He says that, but I very distinctly recall a Shiratori Zawa game going like 25 to 6 or something. So I think there are shutout games very occasionally, but probably not in Nationals. Do you take back what you said? <laughs> He's so good at it. He's just assertive in different ways. Hell yeah! Oh, that's like what, um... Oh man, that's what Hinata said to Yamaguchi, right? And with these two being in such a similar position. I wonder if that was intentional by Suga. That was awesome. Let's see what you got. You're due for a for a W. And there's Yamaguchi in there encouraging him too. Oh. He's zoned in. It's good. 
That's super good. Come on, Kinoshita. Too low? No, it went over. Okay, he got it up. Block it. Oh, no. Nice try. I mean, you got it over. That's uh, it's a start. Come on, buddy. You got this. They are not. They are not. Wait, is the title about Kinoshita? Mm hmm. He's the only one left behind. It's just not your time, not yet, man. Doesn't mean it won't come. Yeah, it must be a really harrowing, lonely feeling seeing everybody get their moment. But they earned those moments. They were not just given them. And it takes pain. That's right, Suga. That's right. That was not the end of the match. Listen to Suga. Suga is telling you he trusts you to do it when the time comes. It might not be yet, but it's going to happen. He has full trust in you and he's not putting that on you. He's believing in you. You just got to believe in yourself. You got to work hard at it, but you got to believe in yourself. That's the first step. He's still figuring that out, but I believe in you. You're not a different being than anybody else on this court. Come on, Cogs. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Is that Noya? I was scared of tricycles. It's an interesting one. Maybe that's why he gets along with Sahi so well, because he gets it. <laughs> oh my god. The coolest character in the show just randomly appears on season 4 episode 21? Mm. Yeah, he's not ashamed of it. Waste of time to be scared. Interesting. Well, I want to know more about his grandpa. Just cancel the game. Just get the rest of the episode on grandpa's story. Oh, thank you. Please, 20 more minutes of this. <laughs> so based, Grandpa. So true. Gotta face it. Face them fears. Have someone help you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that too. For sure. I mean, nobody gets on a bike for the first time and just sort of goes, right? They have somebody help them. Usually a parent, as long as it's a kid. That's so true. There's so much truth to that. I love that. I love his grandpa. Hello? Can we have more? Don't go back to the game yet. I want to see more grandpa. He clearly has more lessons to teach me. He won't be scared anymore. Is somebody going to help him? Maybe? Right. That mentality is just purely burned into him. Purely reflected. Let's go. He's encouraged to go for it. Hell yeah. By Kinoshita of all people. The guy the most scared on the court. It's so inspiring. That's gonna be- that's kind of all he needed. Kinoshita, that is. Asahi is killing it this game, man! Let's go! He's getting some good spikes in. That was you, by the way. Like, it was both of you, but that was still partially you. Thank you? What's he gonna say? 
All right, yeah. All right, that's all you need to say. Yeah, he ain't gonna hesitate. He ain't gonna be scared. Go all out, Kinoshita. You've got what it takes. You're no different. Everybody else around you, but you're the one that spoke up and helped him out. That was sick. That was so cool. Wait a minute. Oh wait, that's them! What? I did not know that. Oh really? Interesting. Cause Osamu is the one that's like a little bit less into it, I would say, in the current day. Yeah, he had passion. There you go. What's going on here? Why are they kind of... Oh, I see. He's being a bit like uh, Kagama was at one point. Yeah, it can be frustrating. People can't keep up with you. The other guys don't like you. Oh? <laughs> yeah, it's like, why does that matter? I'm going to set to them regardless. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the problem, right? Like, sometimes you get so overcome with passion that you don't realize that you're coming off as a jerk. Or at least you don't think that the sacrifice of, like, playing differently is worth appearing to be nicer to people. If I'm doing my job, then why are you mad at me? It's a competitive sport, right? I can understand how he feels about that, but obviously, as we've learned through Kageyama's journey, there is a little bit more than just being good. Like, you have to have cohesion, you have to work with people, and you have to have more than just your twin brother that can pull off what you want him to pull off. Someone like Oikawa always knew that, and that's why he's always able to bring out the best in other people. Maybe Atsumu is still yet to learn that at this point. Damn. He's getting a lot more arrogant. Damn, okay. His twin brother's gonna be the one that set him straight, not anybody else. Tell him, you tell him. This is kind of nice and it's unwary to see that he's setting him straight, but at the same point, I kind of wonder if Atsumu's constant, like, aggressive personality might have taken the fun out of it a little bit for Osamu, and that might be why he appears to be a little bit more... Like, I, it's fine, and I'm not saying that they can't have, like, different personalities, right, with Osamu being a lot more passive and stuff, but at the same point, like, I have to wonder that considering we saw him and they were, like, sort of on even playing fields when they were younger, in fact, Osamu was a little bit better and a little bit more into it. What I'm saying is, I wonder if the way they treated the game and treated each other because of the game influenced how they feel about the game. Like, I can see Osamu being the one to sort of set Atsumu straight whenever he's doing stuff like this, you know? Maybe Atsumu will think a second time next time he wants to insult somebody. But I do recall, at least earlier in the season, I'm not exactly sure which, when they were at the training camp, Atsumu said something along the lines of like, if you can't hit my sets, then th then you're just bad or you're just trash or whatever. And he's saying something similar here, so maybe he still retains this mindset, but approaches it in a different way, or maybe he means something differently by it. I'm not exactly 100% sure. Talk it over, boys. They're still always competing with each other. Absolutely. Yep, he's that competition driving him forward. That's why he's got such a burning fire. 
I'm so jealous. I wish I had a twin brother that would always keep up with me. Uh, life is not fair. <laughs> Frustrated at the fact that I'm not more frustrated. Mm. It's fair enough. It's hard to compete with that. I would say even most people that love volleyball could probably say the same thing about Atsumu. He loves it extra. Now that we got that wonderful backstory, they're going to start playing well. What's he going to do? That is so low. Oh no, okay. Thought it was lower than that. Ow. Break your ankles. But he gets that ultra low set. Damn, okay. Yeah. They were due for something like that. Wow. Uka is clapping for him. Not only that, he trusted his brother to get it. That's cool that Uka clapped for him, considering Uka is a setter. That's right. I think that just really encompasses like so much of how he feels about the game. I feel like that even is a little bit about like why he insults other people the way he does. He says, I'm a setter. My job is to set and it's to do it the best he can. I'm sure he has a very simplistic view of other things like that as well. Of course, there's some level of complexity that he obviously acknowledges by saying, well, I've got 10 fingers if I go overhand. But when he sees other people and he says, well, you're a spiker, your job is to spike, he might get a little bit more frustrated because that's how he sees it because he knows that if it was him, he would go all out and make sure it happens. I'm not trying to justify being a jerk to people, but at the same point, like I'm sure his view on how these things work definitely affects the way he treats other people. But it's not out of like some weird arrogancy, not necessarily. It might be partially, but it's not necessarily that. It's also because he loves his game so much and that his competition drive is so high that he just really wants the best out of it. He wants the best out of everybody else. But his passion is very simple. We got all the setters saying something about him. Hagiyama's gonna be the last one to say something about it. Oh, that's sick. Wow, that's sick. That's such a good line. Because it's exactly how um, Hinata felt about Hoshiyumi, isn't it? Isn't that what Hinata said about Hoshiyumi? I, it's been so long since I've recorded it, but I know I've heard that line before. I'm pretty sure it was Hinata that said it, but I don't remember if he said that at the training camp or if he said that at uh, Hoshiyumi. Bravo. All right, guys, well, that was season four, episode 21 of Haikyuu. I love that episode. That was so good. I normally don't care too much for like gassing up the other team only for them to play well and then Karasuna to suffer, but they did that in such like an eloquent and um, digestible way that I understood everything that was happening, exactly how it was happening, exactly what they were trying to say with it and about their characters. It was really nice and I don't come off feeling frustrated that the other team got some points. I feel proud of Atsumu in a way that he's gone on his own journey and not only Atsumu, Osamu too and Aran and pretty much everybody on that team was sort of, I don't know, it, it just flowed in a way that really makes me happy for them like yeah Atsumu could be a bit of a jerk but at the same point his passion is strong and it's pure and it's really hard for me personally to hate on anybody that feels that way about something because I think even he knows that at the end of the day it's not about him it's about his team it's about everything that he's done it's put into it it's not so much of an ego thing as it's a passion thing and I love that that being said hopefully Karasuno starts to stomp them from here on out I know it's not gonna be a stomp and it's gonna be close but I really like the pacing of this episode although not too much happened as far as the game went so I assume these next episodes might be a little bit less backstory heavy also shout out like I'm doing this recap but I'm forgetting all about the Kinoshita and Noya parts of the episode also completely amazing despite all that happened uh, Nishinoya's grandpa is still MVP of the episode love him need more on him I've said it before and I'll say it again I think the writing in season four is actually even better than the first three seasons something about the dialogue and the way they present different things and the way they present some of the lessons and overall story beats and themes of this is really really good and I think I'm, it's more impressive than anything we've had up until now they pack so much into each episode and it's so meaningful maybe it's because we have so much connection to the characters at this point but every single thing feels so right in a way that i can't really put into words 
which makes me really grateful for it. But at the same time, I think we only have three episodes left. So a little bit sad at the same time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.